Welcome back to NASCAR 07. I'm about to do race 10 of 36. I'm here at the Richmond International Raceway here in Richmond, Virginia for the reign of the Richmond 400. On, as you saw in the starting lineup, I start 5th in this race. And uh, I'm trying to make it back-to-back -back wins tonight. Uh, I won at Talladega in, uh, in a good race. It was a great race at Talladega. I won. Got my second win of the season. Hoping to get my third win of the season tonight here at Richmond. And uh, maybe go back to back wins. I am fifth in points, 66 points back from the points leader, Dale Earnhardt Jr., which he's four points ahead of Jeff Gordon in points. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, it should be a good race. 48 laps. No assist, obviously. And, yeah, here we go. And the green flag is out. We are underway here at Richmond. Oh, Mark Martin and Tony Stewart almost crashed behind me. They saved it. And Dale Knight Jr. is going to lead the first lap. Tony Stewart got into Mark Marin and almost turned him. And now I'm underneath um, Martin Truex Jr. and Ryan Newman to get into the top five. Kurt Busch going for the lead. Dale Knight Jr. and Jeff Gordon are one and two in points. I'm fifth in points, like I mentioned already. Uh, 66 points back. That win at Talladega helped me get back like like less than 100 points from them. Oh, wow. I did not get in that corner perfect at all. And that let Martin Truex Jr. go. Oh, underneath Drex. He cut me off. Not pleased about that, but, uh, you know. He ain't gonna cut me off this time. I dived in there going in the one. Grabbed the fifth spot. I started fifth. Haven't gained anything at all so far. And I overdrove the corner again. Underneath Dale Knight Jr., the points leader for fourth. Dale Knight Jr. started on the pole. Jeff Gordon started second, so top two drivers in points started next to each other. If I keep overdriving the, up the track like that, I'm not going to win this race if I do, keep doing that. On the outside of Dale Earnhardt Jr. You got Kurt Busch, Jeff Gordon, Kyle Busch, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and me rounding out the top five. I'm trying to get around Dale Earnhardt Jr. Finally, I do. Forty laps to go. Got by Kyle Bush really quickly for third. And then I overdrove the corner. Every time I pass someone, I seem to overdrive the corner, except Kyle Bush didn't pass me. Alright, underneath Jeff Gordon. See I'm just diving in, in the corners and it's working. I will say, turn one and two is my sweet spot so far. Turns three and four, not so much right now. Now we're underneath Kurt Busch for the race lead, and I did lead that lap, so I got five bonus points here. But I am up front. Let me tell you right now, I am great on flat tracks, so it wouldn't be surprising if I uh, won this race. I've had, actually had some success here in the past on NASCAR Let's Plays. 
NASCAR 06, I did have success here. I won both races here, I believe, on NASCAR 06. And now up front. So I'm the race leader, Kurt Busch second, Jeff going third, Kyle Busch fourth, Dale Earnhardt Jr. fifth. Oh, I got close to that outside wall. Alright, Joseph, let's make sure we don't overdrive the corner. Now Kurt Busch underneath me for the race lead. Damn it, I had to keep laying up. And I did scrape the outside wall coming off too. And Jeff Gorn got by me as well. Let's try this again. Inside of Jeff Gorn for second. Oh, oh, damn! Wow, that was, that caught me off guard. The car just like slid in there. Got in the Kurt Busch. Race lead. I'm back out front. Oh, and Kurt Busch, I think he hit the outside wall, I'm not sure, but Jeff Gordon got by him for second. And now Jeff Gordon going for the race lead on me. Halfway on fuel. Oh man, see how I just dive it in there. And I take the race lead back. And now Kurt Busch trying to get second back. Wow, I slid it going in the corner. Been a good race so far. Swapping the lead back and forth. Kurt Busch. Alright, car. Come on, dude. Wait, why did I say dude? It's not even a person. Oh, yeah. 30 laps to go. Oh, whoops. My bad. Oh. Oops, I accidentally changed cameras. Oh man, dive it down there for the race lead once again. But the car is tight, damn it! Fuck. Oh, oh no. Jeff, ah uh, damn it. Yeah, that messed up my entry. I didn't think Jeff was going to be underneath me. He was. Had to go up the track to not get hit. Alright, 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 alright. You want to cut me off like that? Alright, that's fine. If it was the final lap, I would have bumped you out of the way. But right now, I'm treating you respect. I'm going to pit on lap 24, or around there. Whenever these leaders pit as well, I don't know. This car is just tight, man. I do not like the handling right now. Ah, uh, Jeff Gorn coming in. I was going to come in, but I kind of overshot the corner, so uh, I'll come in next time. Bye. Now I'm coming in this time by. All right, Junior. Slam my... Uh, wow, no wonder I'm tight. Let's fix that. Yeah, I got slammed. Nah, damage ain't that bad. Let's replace all tires. I'm not doing the two-tire strategy for this race. I'm just going to go all four tires. Alright, so I got slammed coming on the pit road by Junior. And you trip over. Come on! I hate when that happens. 
Especially when I have a good race. If I was having a bad race, that's one thing. But come on, I've been running up front. This could, cost, this could cost me the race. This could cost me the win. Yep, there goes Junior by me. And Junior's the only driver that went by me. And then 22nd now, Ryan Newman, the race leader. I know Tony Stewart hit. I saw him while I was going into my pit box. Michael Walter leaving pit road. Ryan Newman pitting right now. Jimmy Johnson stays out. Okay. Oh. Dive it in there, huh, Waltrip? Look at the two Napa cars side by side. Mine's mine's a better blue though. I like my blue car. Here comes Jimmy Johnson in. So where the hell am I going to be at? After my damn Jackman tripped over himself. Bobby Labonte, Elliot Sadler leaves pit road. I'm not going to be in the top. Ah, jeez. I'm not going to be in the top ten. Just barely off the top ten. Junior fell back some spots too. He's back to tenth. He was in fifth. And now I'm passing Dale Knight Jr. Yeah, Jeff Gordon is way up there off turn two. So thanks to my Jackman that, uh, yeah, was a dumb quarkle. Decided to trip over his shoes. I guess. Yes. So I'm back to ninth. 6.1 seconds back, which sucks because, yeah. Did not expect to be back here. 20 laps to go. At least I'm ahead of Dale Knight Jr., so I will happen to probably gain some points. Probably not because Chef Gordon is up in there in the points. I'm gonna need Tony Stewart now. I passed Greg Biffle, I'm passing Tony Stewart. And there's Mark Martin ahead of me. I believe, uh, it looks like David Stremme's lapped down, most likely. Mm. Oh, 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 come on! I gave Mark Martin a little more breathing room there. I would have turned him, but uh, I backed off. They were three wide too, so I don't think Mark had a, had a choice either. I kind of went in there to almost make it three wide. So I'm up to six. Dale Jarrett up there is for a position. Also, Ryan Newman is. Montreux Jr. is as well. So I know the top two's got to be Jeff Gordon, obviously, the leader, and Kurt Busch. So I was 6.1 seconds at the one lap after the, all the green flag pit stops were done. 4.9 here. So it looks like I am gaining. Oh wait, I think Truex... No, Truex can't be a lap down, is he? Or is it Ryan Newman? Is Dale Jarrett a lap down? I know Truex is for position. There I am in back in the top five. Because Kyle Busch is up there. I didn't think about him. One of these two up here are a lap down. It's not Dale Jarrett, so it's got to be Ryan Newman. No, it's... So where's Kurt Busch? No, both Dale Jarrett Ryan Newman were for position. So where's Kurt Busch? He was in second... Did he fall out of the race? I wonder if Kurt Busch fell out of the race, because I didn't even see him at all. Even after the green flag pit stops. Dale Jarrett underneath me. Kept third. Now I'm trying to catch Kyle Busch. Huh. So I guess Kurt Busch, he must have fell out of the race. I don't know. 
Something happened to him. So I don't see him out, out on the track. Oh, Blaney! Not proof of that. So I, I'm at least going to finish in the top three if nothing goes wrong. Dave Blaney is a lap down, so I did pass him. Kyle Busch is in second. I know Kyle Busch is on the lead lap. I became allies with him, too. You see that every day with Kyle Busch, I tell you. Alright, so I'm up to second. Can I catch Jeff Gorn with 10 laps to go? It'll be 9 laps to go next time by. Nine laps to go. I'm 2.7 seconds behind Jeff Gordon. Remember, it was Las Vegas. Remember that race? That that great race and with a dramatic and exciting finish? When I was in second behind Jeff Gordon, like three seconds back with like 10 laps to go. And then there were at times where I'm like, I'm not sure if I'm going to catch Jeff Gordon at all. I may get up to him, but it's going to be damn close. And... I didn't, I didn't think I was going to win that Vegas race. But past Jeff, I was behind Jeff's bumper going down the back straightaway on that final lap. Then coming off turn number four, I got underneath him. We were side by side coming to the checker flag and I just edged Jeff Gordon out just by a nose at Las Vegas. And, um, you know... And I think I passed Jeff Gordon like less than 100 feet, too, because it was pretty damn close about almost losing that race. Six laps to go. I'm 1.5 seconds back. Can this be another deja vu like at Las Vegas? I got Reed Sorensen, Matt Kenseth, Brian Vickers ahead of Jeff Gordon. So they're lapped down, but I need to pass them if I'm going to get to Jeff Gordon. Five laps to go here, Richmond. Can I get to Jeff Gordon? 1.5 seconds back. To be honest, I don't think it's going to be a Las Vegas finish. I think it's going to be too little too late for me. That pit, that pit stop where the Jackman tripped over and fell really cost me. And I'm in the wall too. So, yeah, I'm pushing it too hard now. Yeah, 1.4 seconds back. Yeah, there's no way. I might settle for a second. Yeah, Jeff going past another lap to car, so I have to pass these guys first to get to Jeff, but I don't think it's going to happen. So I want to say thank you to my Jackman. I had to trip over and fall. Three laps to go. Alright. They got to get out of my way now. I'm going to push... I'm going to... Ugh. My car is tight too. Two laps to go. I'm one second back. Like I said, too little, too late. I was, I'm getting the Jeff, but look at all these lap cars. I mean, there's no way. White flag is out. Final lap here at Richmond. Jeff Gordon leads. I'm running second. You see how hard I'm pushing it? Like I said, it's still going to be too low, too late. I shouldn't even push the issue. Yep. So, came up short. Going to finish second. Jeff Gordon will win the Richmond 400 here at Richmond International Raceway. And I come home with a second place finish. That's too bad because I uh, could have had a chance. I could have had a shot to win that this race. But, uh, yeah, my Jackman fell over. Cost me to have a slow pit stop. So it really sucks. So Jeff Gordon wins. I finished second. Kyle Busch third. Mark Truex Jr. fourth. Dale Jarrett fifth. Ryan Newman sixth. Greg Biffle seventh. Mark Martin eighth. Jimmy Chus, Jimmy Johnson ninth. And Dale Knight Jr. rounds up the. Oh uh, no, Bobby Labonte rounds up the top ten. Dale Knight Jr. finishes eleventh. Let's. Uh no. Oops. So.
did Kurt, what happened to Kurt Busch? I know Kyle Busch, wow, how did Kurt Busch finish 25th? Holy cow, I thought he fell out of the race, but he did not. So, disappointing that I didn't win this race. Could have gone back to back, but, uh, you know, just the Jackman fell over. And it cost me to have a little bit of a slow pit stop. And I was catching Jeff, but just ran out of laps, you know. So, gonna check the point standings. I think I gained points, but, you know, I think I got closer to the points lead. That depends. Let's see here. No, I did not. All right. Well, position-wise, I did. But look at this. Again, new points leader. Jeff Gordon, Dale Nigeria has been swapping points lead each race. Uh, Jeff going in after his win at Richmond is now the new points leader by 51 points over Dale Nye Jr. Jimmy Johnson, 30 points, 54 back. And I came into the Richmond race 66 points back. I am now 77 points back. But yet, I was 5th in points. So I did move up one position in points. So I'm up to 4th. And Elliot Sattler is, is in 5th in points, 127 points back. And Matt Kenseth rounds up the top 10, 288 back. All right, next race is going to be at Darlington Raceway in Darlington, South Carolina for race 11 and 36 for the running of the Dodge Charger 500. So I will see you at Darlington.